So I ordered the new Federico Fellini box set from Criterion Collection and it came in a massive box. Can you see this? This thing is huge. I wanna do an unboxing video to show you what's in the Fellini Collection, the new one, as of November, late November 2020 from Criterion. So let's go, let's open this thing up so you can see what's in it. Um, first of all, there's eight Blu-rays in this box and I expected it to be a lot smaller. So here it is. And for the first time, I'm seeing this as well. That's really cool. That's a nice looking, it almost looks like a vinyl album set. I know that's hard to see with my lights, but the back of this has all the all the movies in it. Oh, actually, are there 14 movies in this? No, that's what I know. 15. So this has 15 movies in it. And it looks like it can display right along with your vinyl collection. You can put it to the side like this. But, you know, I might put it on my bookshelf just like that. Now, I've got to peel the plastic off. But one of the reasons I bought this is because I got the Ingmar Bergman uh, Criterion box set, which is huge and massive. And I think that one's comprehensive. This Fellini one is not, if I understand correctly, although maybe it actually is. I might have been mistaken because I'm looking at the movies and it looks like it's all of his uh, major feature films, at least. It probably doesn't have everything he ever made in it. All right, so this is going to unbox and the lid so is going to come off. And we're going to have this right here, which the, there's the character from... Uh, is it is it eight and a half? Yeah, and that's just that's just lovely looking. I can take that out. This little thing on the back is feels like it can come off. Maybe it's yeah, it can. So it comes off, and it looks like a Trivial Pursuit game here. Sorry about my display here. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Anyway, I take this out, and I've got this whole thing right here. And whoa, a a Lestrada fell out. <laughs> so I open this up. And I'm already seeing something really cool, which is you get the whole, here, let me throw it over here, all, all of these Blu-rays in this nice little sleeve package. And then I, full, I turn the page and I get this. So that is indeed 15 discs or 16. Um, I, can't, I can't count. That's 8 plus 7 is 15 and it looks like it's got all of all of the ones that I would want. I mean, if you're a Fellini fan, if you're a movie fan, you're going to want to probably get this at the 50% off deals that Criterion usually has, either on their website or on barnesandnoble.com, assuming that's going to ever be <laughs> going to remain in business. But Barnes & Noble typically gives, throughout the year, three or four of these 50% off deals so that you can get 15 discs and I hate to say what I paid for this. I think it was 130 bucks, but that was with the 50% off. I think it retails for 250. So I'm actually more than happy with this. I thought it was only eight discs, and I'm seeing Knights of Kiberia, which I've done a video on. La Dolce Vita. I've never seen that movie, so I'm gonna watch it. Eight and a half. La Strada is in here. Uh, Roma, a Marcord, and the only movies that I have from Fellini are. Um, I think I only have a Marcord. I can get all these other ones from the library, but this one is pretty comprehensive and pretty neat. Uh, you can display that too. Now there's more here. So I've got this whole thing with the with all the Blu-rays in it, right? But then on the inside, I've got this, which, let me get this out. This looks like a book from uh, like a, a typical Criterion book, only it's super thick. And it says Federico Fellini's Essays. And I don't know if it's his essays or critical essays, probably critical essays, but some really neat design here. I mean, I got to say for 130 bucks, just to get 15 Blu-rays, that's a good deal. But then to get all this other stuff, by the way, I do not get paid by Criterion. They do not sponsor me. Nothing like that. I just like their stuff. <laughs> all right. Criterion channel and this. So I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at the book and it's got, it's a 150 page book. And it's got six or seven essays in it, which I'm assuming have lots of images as well. I see the film critic Bilge Abiri is in this. 
Um, I'm not sure. Coke Kagonada. Okay, he's a he's a really interesting up and coming director is in this. So it looks like directors, maybe some critics, have essays in this book. And then the other thing that's in here is this. Sorry for the glare. Essential Guide to Fellini's Films. And on the back, it's got the Italian of that. Sort of cool design. And uh, I'm going to flip this open. And it looks like this too has little snippets uh, about each of his movies, three to four pages long in this sort of tallish book that um, is 800, no, 800, 80 pages. So 80 pages of this. Let me open to one of these things. I'll open to one maybe people know, which I did, again, I did a video on this. So search, search my channel for it, Knights of Kiberia. So there's that. There's a nice picture there. There's a very short, shortish essay, four or five paragraphs long with the cast. I have to say, I was not expecting this to be so amazing. Um, I've got the Ingmar Bergman box set, as I said. It's humongous. I don't recall it being this cool looking. In fact, it's all black, if I remember correctly. And I've got a bunch of other box sets. The other one I really like is Carol Zeman's, but it's only like that big, a standard, you know, Blu-ray box. And it's got some pop-up stuff in it, which is cool, the Carol Zeman one. But this one is, I think, you know, designed to look like, as I said, a vinyl album. I, I didn't know that. I don't have vinyl albums, but you could put this right with it. And then you've got two nice looking I mean, these are lovely looking books, probably very expensive to print. All the color, very thick pages. So I, I, I've never done an unboxing video and I don't know if I really like them, but I find this to be really, really neat. So this opening this box makes me want to watch these movies and study them. And for those of you who follow this channel, you know, no doubt I will do more Fellini videos. I think I've done a couple. I did one on Knights of Kiberia. Did I do another one? Maybe I didn't. So I've only done one, and then I'm, I'm going to go into the late. One movies I've definitely never seen are late Fellini. So they're all here, up for, from the 70s to the 80s. I really want to see Satyricon because I read the book. Is that in here? Satyricon. I thought it was. Yeah, there it is, from 1968 or 9. Um, and I've read the book, which is the ancient Roman sort of partial fragment novel. And I really love Roman literature. I, so I'm interested in what Fellini does with that and then with Roma. Um, because I really love Italy. I love Rome, period. I love to visit there. So this box set and Fellini's movies are just of great interest to me. I'm not a Fellini lover, actually. I, I like some of his stuff. Or I actually respect all of it. But I don't know that I understand his point of view that well. So... Getting this box set, working through these movies, is really going to help me out. So you can probably get all of these on Criterion's channel at some point. I've seen most of these on the channel. And subscribe to that, and you can get them 8 10 bucks a month. I forget how much that is, but if you want to shell out the money, and again, I would say do it during the 50% off sales whenever they show up. I think I've seen them five or six times over the course of the year, several times. The way I find them is I subscribe to their Facebook feed. So then that comes up on Barnes & Noble or Criterion. And then I partake when I when I can. So this is pretty neat. I'll show you the back cover again. Now it's got this little thing, but then a piece of paper that describes it. But it looks like I can remove. Should I remove this? Yes, it's glued on. So the back of this looks like a Trivial Pursuit. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like Trivial Pursuit, but... Really, you could display this. I mean, this is an art object. You could display it this way, display it this way, put it sideways. I don't. Maybe I should put it on my bookshelves back here. This is really great. So anyway, that's a Fellini box set, and I, it was. It's so much better than I expected. I really had never seen it live in person. I'd only seen the the videos of pictures of it online. So I, I'm actually amazed by this thing. So that would be a good Christmas present for some of you. Fellini interests you. So thanks. Subscribe to the channel. See you later.